Neil, at last. You know, Bates have been a long time coming to get the win. Um, you know, it's, it's been frustrating. Uh, it's been very difficult. Um, I think for the players as well. We all lose confidence when we're not winning games, and I think supporters, players, management alike. When you're not winning, you think when's your next win going to come? But uh, if you could have said w which game I'd choose to win, then it would have to be today because it was an absolutely massive game. And uh, I think the players have had a lot of criticism this season, but today they deserve a lot of praise because they've um, shown a lot of character. They've battled for the cause and they've got the three points, which they deserve today. Couldn't have been great for the heart, though, down on that touchline. No, no, it's uh, it's not good for for your health. I can assure you. Um, I don't think uh, I wouldn't advise football management to anyone if you want, want to stay healthy. But certainly today was a tester because I think the first half you were, I was quite. Uh, I don't think you can be relaxed because we weren't winning the game. But I thought we we deserved to be winning the game. And then we scored, which was what we deserved. We probably could have done with being a couple of goals up. But then obviously the, the sending off meant at half time put a whole new complexion on the game. Just touching on the team performance there, brilliant start by the Valiants. They really uh, got out of the blocks quickly, attacked Chesterfield and then deserved that first goal. But then Danny Pugh getting sent off so soon after his goal. What was your thoughts on that? I think you're always biased when you're the when it's your player who's got sent off and I think it's I can see why the ref sent him off but I think it's harsh because they're not always a sending off so you'd like to think we might have just got away with that and he might have booked him but I can understand why he's done, he's, he's he sent him off but um, like I said it, we went from being really you know in control to then making it a, a more difficult game because the one thing I will say about Chesterfield they've got some players they pass the ball they're not, a, no, they're not a team who goes from back to front. So actually, when you've got a man less, you do then get pulled out of position and it can be difficult. So I knew we were in for a difficult second half. So delighted to get three points. Overall, though, the mentality and the character the team showed there, going down to 10 men and then Ben Whitfield coming on as a substitution, a brilliant finish. What does that say about the uh, character of your side? Well, I, I always think it's difficult for when you have a meeting and you've got players and you're saying that it's important that that everybody's on board not just the 11 who are playing I think it's you know if you're not playing it's difficult and if you're not even in the squad I think it's it's very difficult but today proved that we we, we needed everyone because we ended up with um, Ben Whitfield coming on and, and um, winning us a game we ended up with Anthony K coming on who's obviously first football back from injury uh, Michael Tong being sick at half time and having to come off um, David Worrell's been ill in a week and he's played today and played for most of the game and obviously Tom Pope coming back into the team after a, a layoff so you do end up you use your squad and you use a lot of players and sometimes it's difficult to get that message across but you know who knows what you know what the team will be for Monday because we'll have to look at that but um I'm, I'm really pleased for Ben Whitfield. Um, I think people look from the outside when players are not playing that there might be a fallout with the manager. It's not been the case. I think um, we've been frustrated. Ben's been frustrated because obviously he wants to play. He wants to play at the level that he, he was playing. And today I thought he was excellent when he came on. So many times you've come up here after a game, the performance has been really good, but we haven't just managed to get those three points, but it must have been a real relief when that final whistle went, knowing you had that three points in the bag at last. The first win in 2018. Yeah, I mean, look, look it's, uh, it's been a really bad run. I, I've, not, I've not dressed it up. I've not um, said other. And, you know, it's been really, a really bad run. And it's, it's one that's... If all the other teams at the bottom had have been picking up points regularly we would have been in a worse position but we've managed to sort of um, just chip away by getting a lot of draws which have not been great but I suppose it keeps a belief that you can get the result but um, I'm hoping now today getting those three points we can now get a couple of more wins and put us in a much better position and just finally you're not one to get carried away keep the heads down for a big game on Monday against Crewe no, no, I mean, look, Crew are, I've seen Crew play a number of times, we watch all the, all the games of other teams, Crew play good football, 
uh, they're as good as any other team on the day. There's no question about that. They've got some good players, and they will they will pass the ball. So we're in for a, a tough game. We know that, but it's a local derby, and it'll be a good crowd, and we have to give the crowd something to shout about.